Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. We love democracy, don't we? When we're winning. Uh, and uh, obviously, we like uh, to see the opinion polls. Why? Because the opinion polls tell us how good of a job the leaders are doing, right? The ones that we voted so they can uh, defend and protect our rights, the Constitution, that's all. And uh, <clears throat> if you don't do a good job, the opinion polls will show. Uh, you know, if you have an approval rating of, let's say, 40, that's not a good approval rating. Uh, you know what I mean? It's not even uh, one in two saying, yes, you're doing a good job, and that's a bad approval rating. So if you have this uh, constantly during your reign or during your, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, um, tenure, uh, that means you do a poor job. Otherwise, you would have more because after all, you're over there to do the will of the people, right? You're in charge uh, to uh, uphold our uh, constitution and so on. Well, we have two opinion polls here. One coming from Russia, um, showing Putin's uh, approval rating. And the other one comes from the United States of America, showing the American president Biden approval rating. I think that you might know exactly what would be the proportion between the two in approval rating. Please uh, uh, refrain from thinking that just because we are Americans, we do everything right and uh, they are, because they are Russians, are doing everything wrong. Or because we are Americans, uh, we do everything uh, right and honest and democratically. And because those are Russians, they are liars and uh, fudge, uh, all that. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so uh, yeah, there are possibilities, yeah. There are probabilities, yeah, the same, different uh, quantity. So, look at the polls. So, let's see, let's start with uh, this one first, which comes from Russia. From Sputnik. It's from today, the 17th of February 2023. Polls show trust in President Putin stands at almost 80% in Russia. Oh, we don't want that. Uh, CNN tells us that la latest Biden approval rating stood at 42%. So uh, you don't have imper imperium. That is, you don't have the authority to rule. If you have 42, I mean, how long? <clears throat> Constantly he is in the 40, 40, uh, 40s. So it's not uh, right here. This is where he's at, where he's been, Biden. So he's right here. 42% approve. When was he had it the, the, the most, let's say? Is there a point where he had it? The biggest, let's see, got 39 at the beginning here, let's see, 45, 46, 46. The highest he had was 46% approval rating. And that was <clears throat> on October 19th, 2021, a long time ago. So he never passed 50%. Um, I don't want to hear, well, it's polarized, that's a di uh, dictatorship or whatever. You don't have the evidence, so I'm not going to go by that. Uh, this is interpretation of whatever we like or whatever we don't like. So <clears throat> when you hear, oh, that was uh, Putin's elections were not free and this and that. Well, I would like to hear the investigation. If it was conducted, I want to see the evidence. If you don't provide the evidence, then you can't, can't reach a conclusion. Uh, you can reach a conclusion, but the conclusion will be not necessarily accurate. So again, uh, if you see the, uh, um, an investigation, if you see uh, you know, this and that, I'm eager to hear it. I'm not saying that 80% or almost 80% is accurate, but do I have information to uh, dispute that? Do you have it? And if the information comes <clears throat> from uh, what I said before, the Russians are bad, therefore that must be a lie, and we are good, therefore, uh, even if we ignore Putin, put him aside, do you think the 40% is a good sign? Do you think that not passing the 50% approval rating is a good sign for a, a person who was voted to uphold the Constitution and care for all Americans? I don't want to hear about polarization and all that. It's too bad already that we have only two 
uh, main uh, political parties that matter, actually, there's two. That's bad enough. Uh, let alone that you... Uh, even Russia has more than two. The dictator, the... Yeah, 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 but he's... Uh, yeah. Again, make the connection. If someone from the opposition dies, Putin did it. When someone dies here, let's go and uh, whatever, commemorate. So, let's read what the, the Russians are saying here with this poll, the exact numbers that they provide. The, le the level of confidence in Russian President Vladimir Putin stands at 79.1, with 76% of Russians approving of his professional performance, a poll by the Russian Public Opinion Research Center said on Friday. <clears throat> now you can say, well, okay, that's, that's fudged. Okay, let's say it's fudged. Uh, how, again, that's an assumption. You don't have the evidence. I don't have the evidence. How much do you think it's fudged? All right, they say 79.1. Do you think it's 20? And if so, why? What's the evidence to support that claim? So bring the claim and then we talk about it. As of now, that's the evidence I have here. Lie or not lie? I don't know. Maybe these guys are lying. I don't know. You know what I mean? But we assume they're not because they never lied to us. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, I got that one. So this is a CNN poll. CNN never lied. Never, ever, ever. All right. Let's put that to rest right now. Okay. So uh, CNN versus uh, these guys here. So if you have my, my point with this, uh, my point with this article here, with this uh, uh, trust, and then with uh, how the, the performance uh, being this high, that tells me that even with the war, even with the war, the evil Russians are supporting the evil Putin. So what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do with the Russian population? If you're telling me that they were propagandized so deeply, by the evil Putin and his uh, media machine uh, and they're so dumb that they cannot figure it out in uh, that kind of proportion. Again, provide me the study, the evidence. That's just an assumption. I can make a lot of assumptions and uh, the assumptions uh, are not necessarily correct. I have to come with assessments and if I say, if I make a statement in my civilization, it's like this. You have to bring the evidence to support the statement or the accusation. If not, that's just an assumption, it's just words and nothing else. So, let's see what else these uh, evil Russians are saying here. The all-Russian VSIOM Sputnik telephone survey <clears throat> was conducted. Oh, it's a Sputnik. Ah, Sputnik versus CNN. Who's winning? <laughs> In trust, I'm talking about. Was conducted from February 6 to 12 among 1,600 adults adult Russians, with a margin of error not exceeding 1% and a confidence level of 95%. According to the survey, 79.1% of Russians indicated that they trusted the president up 1.1 percentage point from a week earlier, with 16.7% saying they oppose or opposite, saying, saying the opposite. Yeah, you're right. Down, down, and they say here, down, downward spiral. Biden's public approval rating drops to 39%. That was in November 2022. Yeah, they give you the November 2022. Let's see, November 28, uh, November 8, 2022. Let's see if, you, if we find that. November 8, 2022. Probably here somewhere. Yeah, that's the, the lowest point right there. Six. So it's 39 over there. 41. Okay, but that's a Biden's approval rating, but I know who. So it's 39, and these guys say it, it was 39. Yeah, so uh, Sputnik did not lie on this one, did they? Now, the survey also revealed that 76% of the respondents approved the president's professional performance, while 14.3% expressed the opposite view. Approved of the performance. <clears throat> I don't know. That's uh, what they say. Uh, a similar poll conducted by Russia's Public Opinion, Fun Opinion Foundation from February 10 to 12 among 1,500 adults, respondents found that 79% of the Russians rate Putin's professional performance positively, with 76% trusting the president. Well, what can you do? As I said, uh, however you want to take it. I understand that's a war over there. I know how the propaganda uh, you know, functions here and there. But on the same time, uh, we got to accept, um, you know, 
this uh, kind of uh, polls. Uh, not accept, but at least take into consideration. My point here is like this. Even if Biden is at 43%, put yourself, and you are, if you are in the United States of America, put yourself in the, in the situation of agreeing to someone 40, 43% of the time. That's, that's not trustworthy whatsoever. Trust is when it's about 89%. Let's say you have a wife or a husband that, uh, you know, um, you think that is truthful, truthful uh, 43% of the time. That means you're not even 50-50. Hey, did you cheat on me? Uh, no. <laughs> well, or, or my, no. Or why do you ask? Why do you ask me? All right? Just, just as a question. And you, you trust that person 43%. I'm not saying that if you ask the question, uh, uh, your spouse and she has or he has a 79% is better. You should have 100% or 99%. Let's put it 99%. That's the not, you don't go 100% either way. So let's say you go 99%. 99%, but still 79 is better than 43, isn't it? Because 73 is a negative, uh, 79 is a positive. So who has Imperium? If, if it's true that Putin has this approval rating, let's say it's true, then these guys here have a big problem. Big problem. Uh, because that means even if uh, Putin somehow disappears overnight, those guys are going to blame someone else for his disappearance. And that 79 will, will, will go much, much higher of the idea. Because it's not about Putin. Putin and Biden, leaders, they um, um, embody some uh, policies some views, some ideals, you know, freedom, democracy, we're going to do, they want a better life, we're going to, this, this that are the ideas that they say, we were going to, I'm going to drag you over there, I'm going to, we're going to get there. So if you take the, the means, uh, in this case, this guy who says that he's going to do it, who has 79% of doing a good job and the other one has 43% uh, of getting you where you want to go, uh, then and you remove this guy somehow, and they say, "Well, it was the these or those removed our enemies." Can you imagine what those guys are gonna feel about the ones that will be pointed out as being the enemies and the perpetrators of whatever happened? And th that's true everywhere, not only in Russia. It, it happens everywhere. If tomorrow something happens with uh, Biden, and you point out that I know the Bangladeshis did something, you're gonna have a uh, what? 57% uh, saying. Whew, no, maybe things go better. And 43 will say, Jesus Christ. Or maybe no, uh, you know, 43 uh, uh, say yes, yes, yes. Or no, no, no. And 53 will say yes, yes, yes. I'm just, I'm just saying, remember the September 11. Everybody was this and this. And when they pointed out to Saddam, how many said it was not him? Even though the evidence was what? The same. You're right. Oh, there's the enemy. Let's go. Why? Because they hate our freedom. That was the argumentation. They hate our... Why do they hate us? I remember right now all these guys on TV and, uh, and then people around me when I was talking. Because they hate our... Why do they hate us? Why did they attack us? Because they hate our freedom. <laughs> okay. Is it because maybe there are some uh, uh, other things? No. They hate our freedom. All right. Well, keep your head down in the sand. And they uh, will... Uh, since you're already bent over, they will take care of you just fine. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.